Hey, what's up, guys? It's XX Modern Warfare Gamer Tab Badger Chicken here. Welcome to JTAG Tutorials Episode 6. Now, in this tutorial, we're looking at uh, using FTP, that's File Transfer Protocol, uh, which allows you to wirelessly transfer files from your computer to your Xbox and from your Xbox to your computer. Uh, it's so much better than having to swap USB sticks back and forth. Uh, or using an external hard drive, um, FTP is just a lot better because especially for stuff like patches for Call of Duty games and stuff like that you can just um, swap them over from, you know, you just download one and then just wirelessly put it right in the correct game directory and then just go on your JTAG and start it up and it'll load the patch. So it's just it's a much easier way and especially if you don't have USB sticks or external hard drives then this is like pretty much your only option so I would recommend that you um, definitely use this so the reason I'm, st I'm starting off this tutorial it's mainly going to be done on the computer but the reason I've started it off being on the Xbox here is because we need to note down our IP address at the bottom left of the screen um, on the left left to where it says status idle you've got 192.168.0.2 you need to check to see what yours is if yours says n slash a for not applicable then you need you're not connected so you're gonna have to go to uh, back to the original dash by dashboarding and holding right bumper while you do it and then you need to you know get your network set up and then you can see it'll tell your IP address here you can set up a static or manual IP address if you want, but um, for me personally anyway, I get a lot of problems when using a static IP address with FTP not connecting and stuff, so for me it's it's better with uh, DHCP. So anyway, now that we have got our IP address, we need to enable the FTP server in Dash Launch. Now I already showed you how to do this in JTAG Tutorials Episode 3, but for anyone who hasn't seen that uh, tutorial, I'll quickly show you. So, um, oh, I'm in the wrong one. Go into Dash Launch, make sure it's the one off the hard drive you're launching. And go to Configurator and make sure FTP server is enabled. If you don't have Dash Launch or anything like that, um, then watch JTAG Tutorials Episode 3. Uh, once you have the FTP server enabled, press X on HDD and press A. And then you can X out of that by pressing B and now we're going to go over to the computer and show you how to connect up okay so once you're on the computer um, you're going to need to download an FTP client I would recommend FileZilla which is a free open source software so uh, make sure you download the client not the server and choose the correct one for your operating system and click download then install it and start it up and once you have it open uh, on the left here this is the contents of your computer and on the right will be the contents of the uh, server which will be the JTAG so t to connect to it we can use the uh, quick connect or we can set up a profile um, I'll just use quick connect to begin with so you type in the IP address of your Xbox then the username by default is Xbox the password by default is Xbox and the port is 21 and then you click quick connect and boom straight on the right we see we've got your um, the contents of my JTAG here uh, so if I go into HDD1 there's dash launch um, freestyle dash is all in there launch.ini for dash launch and say I wanted to copy a file over like this tech text text document that I have um, set up as an example here on my desktop I'm going to transfer that over to the JTAG so to do that you just navigate to your desktop find the file there it is the text document and then just drag it from the left box into the right box and it will transfer it over as you can see it's a transfer complete and now if I look inside here I have the text document and if I wanted I can also delete files on my JTAG remotely even though I'm on my computer I can delete it and now it's no longer on my JTAG hard drive 
uh, if I transfer it back over again, now it's there, back on my JTAG. And I can delete it from the computer as well, deleting it from the left box, it's gone off my computer. And I can also transfer files from my JTAG to my um, uh, computer. So say this text document, although it's a text document, say that it was like a patch for a game or something, and I wanted to edit it in FF Viewer, um, and it's on my JTAG, I can just drag and drop it into my desktop and now it appears on my desktop ready for editing. And then you can drag and drop, once it's edited, you can drag and drop it back into your JTAG again. So it's much easier than having to, and it's more convenient than having to keep swapping USB sticks back and forth all the time. So um, I definitely recommend you use that. Other than the quick connect bar, like I said, you can use um, you can set up a profile, so if you click this little button here, I'll just delete this one and remake one to show you. Um, you just click new site, call it what you want, so I call it JTAG. Host, you put in the IP address 168.0.2 for me. Type in 21 for the port. Then log on, put normal, and then Xbox for the user and Xbox for the password. Click OK. And now if I go to the drop down menu I have the JTAG option that I can just click that and boom it will connect me straight onto my JTAG without having to retype in all of this. Uh, so you can do it that way as well. Also if you go onto XCX menu on your console uh, Google Chrome has a built in FTP client so if you type in FTP into Google Chrome and the IP address and then the port and then type in the username Xbox and the password Xbox and log on it gives you the directory um, so I can navigate through my what's on my console's hard drive there's XBDM, dash launch this is the contents of my Xbox hard drive and it doesn't let you upload files to the Xbox but you can download them um, just by I think clicking on the file, if I click on the test file um, you should be able to download files but not upload them so you can put files from the Xbox onto your computer but you can't put them from the computer onto the Xbox which is why FTP uh, FileZilla is better um, but I just wanted to show you that and I can also show you that you can also use FTP in command prompt um, so if I just change the color to green and type in FTP and then type in open the IP address of your Xbox then the port which is 21 and then it gives you some information here and it asks you for the username which is Xbox the password which is Xbox and it will say I'm logged on from there I can type in CD to change directory and go into HDD1 for the hard drive and it will say it's now currently in HDD1 directory and um, if I wanted to upload a file um, from if I wanted to get a file from the computer to the Xbox I would type in the put command and then the file name or file directory and if I wanted to get a file from the Xbox and put it on my computer I would use the get command uh, but you can type in help for other functions on command prompt and you can type in dir uh, which will take you um, it takes a while to load up for the Xbox but it will show you the contents of the directory that you're in so that's a couple of things that you can use FTP if you don't have a client but uh, I definitely recommend FileZilla because it lets you do everything and it's just a really good FTP client so um, I hope you now will be using FTP rather than USB sticks uh, so I hope that's helped you guys out and um, if you've got any questions leave a comment, if you liked the video then leave a like, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already 
and please stay tuned into my next video which will probably be um, either emulators or DLC, how to get DLC for free uh, on your JTAG. So thanks for watching guys and please stay tuned for the next video. And then you find me a way to reach you.